contributing to dyslexic problems are probably problems with the um, nutrition of the brain. My interest is in particularly in the role of essential fatty acids that you derive from fish oils. These fish oils um, uh, constitute something like 20% of the makeup of your brain, the dry weight of your brain. And unfortunately, nowadays, we eat very little fish. And so there is a problem there because the, the um, essential fatty acids that come from fish oils that are incorporated in your brain are moved in and out of the membranes and other places in your brain. And um, if you don't replace them, then the workings of the brain are, are impaired. This is why we often suggest that people with dyslexics or ADHD problems are actually um, uh, given supplements of these essential fatty acids. Mothers should make sure that they eat plenty of oily fish when they're pregnant. Uh, and if they can't uh, stand that, some people do, really do not like fish, then take supplements. So they're, they're, they can be pretty cheap and they are extremely important for the well-being of your, of your child's brain. These essential fatty acids move in and out of the membrane um, throughout life and therefore you need to be, be able to replace them so that if, if um, you give supplements of essential fatty acids, fish oils, uh, to children with dyslexic problems, it often improves, particularly it improves their ability to concentrate and focus their attention.